This is Teddy Muned. He made a run for it this morning outside of the circuit courthouse and has not been captured yet, but not for lack of trying. We have team coverage on today's manhunt. Nana Okawa spoke with the witness who saw Munet trying to evade authorities. But we're going to begin with Andrew Pereira, who's live at circuit court. Andrew? Well, Paula, what a day here at Circuit Court. Below me is the exact area from where Munet escaped earlier this morning. The search for him was focused in the immediate area around the courthouse. But nine hours after a fact, the reality is, is this, this, this is now an island-wide search. The loading zone behind Circuit Court quickly became the unloading zone for one inmate. Four prison vans pulled up around 8 a.m., but the locked area only has room for two. Teddy Munet was in a van with seven other inmates when he saw blue sky and took off running. Uh, there were eight correctional officers, right. and one of them actually saw him running and gave chase but was not able to catch up to him. The 29-year-old should have been in leg chains, but for reasons unknown, Munet was restrained only with handcuffs and a belly chain. We're not sure exactly why that happened, but we're investigating that. and We, we need to make sure that this protocol is followed at all times. When Munet took off running from the loading bay, he was wearing dark shorts and a dark hoodie, not a bright orange jumpsuit, which would indicate he's a prisoner in custody. The jury was going to be in the courtroom, so the court rules require that when the jury is impaneled and he's facing the jury, he needs to be dressed in civilian clothes. But the state judiciary says that's not true. They say Munet was not facing a jury and could have been dressed in a prison jumpsuit. Munet's court appearance was because of the murder charge against him for the execution-style killing of 29-year-old William Falau in July of last year. This man should be considered dangerous. Um, he may have access to a firearm or he may not, but in any case, he is considered him armed and dangerous. Dangerous enough that Munet attempted to carjack a woman near Voyager School as he ran away. He approached uh, a, a unidentified female and she screamed and she, he ran from that point. He didn't make contact. Now, Suha says there was a sighting of Munet in the Diamond Head area that they believe is about 75% accurate. But again, nine hours after the fact, he could be anywhere. 